Today we're going to do the Catherine wheel stitch as you can see in the example here and what we need to really pay attention is to where our sides are on both of our projects and now what we have to pay attention to is whatever we do like a, this is a great example of using two colors and two colors is very easy to kind of maintain the edge but if you're like me and you like seven colors or ten colors it gets very difficult to always see the the repetitive nature of this pattern this pattern I don't think is for beginners but it it is certainly a beautiful pattern. Uh, a lot of people are very happy with this uh, when it gets done. It's a bit of a yarn pig and this uh, example today is a slight uh, variation to what I already posted two years ago and uh, the Catherine wheel stitch was one of the very first uh, tutorials that I had ever done. So I'm going to teach you how to do this uh, using the blue and uh, white uh, yarn and this is a size K crochet hook. We're just using a regular uh, four ply burnett worsted yarn. Uh, again pick a hook and a yarn that suits you but this pattern is actually doable for no matter what size that you do so let's get started and here we go in this particular uh, stitch that we are going to be using sets of 10. If you don't understand sets of 10, there's actually a video explaining to you what it is. And the sets of 10 are basically from the center to the center of the actual circles. So it actually takes about 10 stitches to go from here to here. So when I say do sets of 10, what we want to do is let's start off. We're going to start off with our, our, slip our slip knot, slip in your needle. And now let's chain 10 stitches. So this is considered one already. So one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, and ten. So what you need to do is this is a set of ten. So every time you uh, complete a set of ten, just look at it. Is it big enough? If it not, uh, go longer. So I'm going to show you to keep on going. Now at the very end of your line, no matter where you finish, you're going to have to add six extra chains. Okay, so when, no matter how far you go, let's keep on going. So this is 10. So instead of getting out your calculator and calculating 120 stitches, it's just easier to stay in sets of 10, especially if you've got a kid running around or a dog barking at you, the husband wants dinner, just keep it in sets of 10 so you don't lose count. So let's do another one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Look at it. Is it long enough? Is it yes? No. I'm going to go one more. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now you're just going to keep going to wherever you feel is comfortable. This does have a slight shrinkage factor on it. Um, not as big a deal as the other one that I had uh, described to you before. And uh, so what I'm going to do is if you get to the end of your uh, sets and you say this is enough sets, let's just add on six and, and one, two, three, four, five, and six. So there's where we go. So you do 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, as many as you want. And then at the final, just do another six, which is a really great way to start. And this is your first chain of the Catherine wheel stitch. So we're going to start off at the bottom here and I just started off with white just to kind of be different and be opposite of what we have here. So we've come along the chain along the bottom and now we need to go back it up and now so you're going to have this is going to be your flat edge and now we're going to be creating the first set of ruffles. Now what we always have here in the ends we always have uh, single stitches of two and then two so it's the same. So and at the end two and two. So if you screw up at any point, you want to maintain that the actual whatever you do to the one side, you're going to mirror to the other side. So let's uh, what we're going to do. Let's chain two. Uh, we're going to chain up one. So sorry, we're not going to chain up one. We're going to go second from the hook. Okay. So let's go one and two. So two stitches over. Just go in, and we're just going to do a single uh, stitch. So in and through. So there's your first one, and let's do another one. So we want two. So always remember that when you come to the white, you're always going to have your two uh, single stitches on the edge. That is so important for you to remember that. So let's now start to do our half semi-moon there. And I always call them pinwheels or whatever, but it's the Catherine wheel. And what we want to do is we want to double crochet our way around that semicircle. So what we need to do is skip three. So one two, three, and go to the fourth and wrap your needle around the thread, which I've already done because I'm kind of like a guru and I already knew to do that. So pulling it through, so pull through two 
and 2. And so you'll see that you're kind of getting a, a loop kind of falling down like that. Don't worry about it. So what we're going to do now is we want 7 double crochets into that exact same stitch and that causes it to do a semicircle. So this is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So now what we did, you remember how we just skipped over 3 over here? Well now we got to do the same on this side. So see how it's pulling up? That, that's not your first stitch. Your first one is the very next one. So 1, 2, 3, and go to the fourth one that's empty. So just going in and we're going to single stitch. So just stick your needle in that bad boy, grabbing the material, pulling it through, and pull through the 2. So now we need to always do, there's always 3 uh, single crochets right at the bottoms and the tops of every one of your circles. So that was one. Let's do two more just because I said so. So pull it through and go into another one. So this is your third. So now we're already starting now to create our pattern just like so. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do another uh, semi-circle there. So let's wrap in your material and let's count over to the fourth empty stitch. So one, two, three and four going in okay so you wrapped your material we're double crocheting pull it through pull it through two and two so that was one so keep on going let's get seven in there two three four five six and seven and when I'm actually doing this I know I'm a professional and everything but I actually do count as I going along I find this blanket it's very hard to kind of do two things at once uh, to be able to babysit a child or you know watch the dog or something so this one I do find I have to count a lot at so let's uh, so you know how we came back and we did the three uh, single stitches over here well we've got to do that again so we're just gonna skip over to the fourth one two three and four going right into that fourth stitch and we're just going to put another three single stitches right in a row okay so now we get to do another semicircle so you're just going to work the same configuration all the way to the end so I'm coming up to the near end of my sample and that's going to happen to you eventually and uh, let's just uh, final, finalize this final one. So one, two, three, four. We're going over to the fourth, grabbing the material. We're going to double crochet again seven times. So seven is kind of the magic number, and I've kind of just fallen out of that hole. So let's try it again. So one, two, three, four. Behind the scenes, I have a, a light that's uh, shining on for your purposes to be able to see this really well. But it's actually in the vision of one of my, it's actually in the, in the way of my one eye. So that's kind of, okay. So we got three in there already. So let's go four. This is five. Six. And seven. So we've just got seven bad boys in there and just like before, so we now have our seven in there so now we have to skip again. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to finalize this line. We've got our seven into place and what we're going to do is just jump over to your four. So one, two, three, and four and we're just going to slip in your needle pulling it for a single stitch. And now I've already done a mistake on this uh, take already so the string has already been cut. Um, so it's kind of a little more awkward for me. And uh, I'm not perfect. I never said I was, so just making sure. So we want to uh, finalize this, and we want to introduce the next color along. So what we're going to do is just stick your material in. You're going to grab, like and I've already cut it, so it's a little uh, bit awkward for me. Um, so we're going to pull it through. And now we're just going to hold. Okay, so this is just like a single uh, stitch, and normally I would just grab the material and pull it through. But in this case, we want to add our secondary color, which will be the blue, 
And so we want to just, as you see there's no knots. It's just, we just want to loop it, put it on, and we want to pull through. Okay, so at this point I would have cut my white if it wasn't already cut already. And so what I want to do is I want to tighten the white that I just cut. I want to tighten the straggler blue that I've just done. And now there should only be a blue on the actual hook. And the other uh, thing is from the, the other stragglers from the very start of this project. You can also bury that into it if you wish. So let's turn your project and we'll move on to your next line. So carrying along off camera I just uh, uh, tightened everything up. Now if it were me, and it is me at this point, I would take that even the straggler from the original line so you can bury it. Okay, so you'll have three stragglers at this point. Now, you got to think about where are you on this project? And the true answer is you're over here now. And now you need to uh, now see the white here. It's at the bottom of the actual hump, right? So we have to start off with a half semicircle. In order to do that, we need to chain up three and it's just like a double crochet like you normally would in a line it's always chain three so let's go one two and three and you notice with my thumb I'm still holding all these stragglers I want to keep those bad boys under control so I'm gonna pull them all tight and now what we're gonna do is start to form the semicircle upside down into the actual loops now you gotta pay attention to this you see one two three and four there's always four this white like in this case it will be blue but if I were to do another white one again it's always four you gotta maintain that so if you have a different color that is going into this section up here it doesn't matter it has to be four so to in order to do that the chaining already counts as one of the four okay do you see that so let's go into your very next stitch on there so this is part of the first stitch. Remember we came into two single stitches. The chaining counts as the first one, so we're going to go over to the second. So grabbing your material, pulling it through, or putting it through the next stitch, you want to take all your stragglers and put them on top of the line so that this blue will then wrap around and trap it into position. Now we are going to be forming a semicircle, so this is like stitching four together. So this is like, if you ever saw four together, this is exactly what it is. So grabbing the material, you're going to pull through and hold. Okay, so you're going to hold that bad boy. So let's wrap your material again and go into the very next stitch on that line. Okay, again, put those stragglers on the top to trap them in. And because they are the same colors as each other, they complement it, so therefore you can hide it. So let's just pull it through. And so this is, now you can see three, you wanted four, because I told you so, right? So let's finalize it. So when you're changing colors, this will always be a kind of a pain on the start of the blue and the white every time you change color. But this, this is what's required because if you don't want ugly knots, I would suggest you do that. So now you got four on your hook. So now what you got to do is just grab your material and pull it through all four at the same time. And now this is the fun part. Secure it. So grabbing the material and secure it. So now you got like this, the center point happening which is this section, like you'll see. It's the center point. And now, the center point, if you look at it, if you were to look at it as a straight line, so this needle is facing up, you're going to say, oh, that straight line, the center point is far from the next stitch. So in order to get there, we always chain three. So one, two, and three. Okay? So now what we're going to do is just like on the bottoms and the tops, in between the small sections there, it's always a single crochet. And in this case, we just go to this one here is part of the four. So the very next stitch, just go in. Again, put those stragglers on the top of that if you still have them there. So we're just going to single crochet three in a row. Okay, so we just work our way around the top of that, that white circle. So this is the really fun part. So now, in order to get to the next center point, which we have to create right now, is that you got to think, if I do the center point here, it's not in the center, is it, in between the two? So in order to do that, you have to chain three. So one, two, and three. Okay, I hope I haven't lost you yet. So here we go. So what we're going to do now is just grab the material. So we're going to double crochet into the next one available on the line. So we're going to pull through and pull through two and hold. And now you'll want to continue to hold until you get eight of these on your, your, your hook. So let's go into the next one. So grab, wrap in the material for a double crochet. And this is like putting eight together 
in, like if you ever saw eight together, this is exactly what it's doing. So going in and putting, so pull through two and hold. Okay, let's wrap it again, going through the next one. Pull through, pull through two and hold. And you'll see that it all looks consistent. So the goal is, is to have eight of these on here. So you just keep going along until you get eight. Okay, so what I always do is, is I look at it and say, well, okay, is that eight? And I don't go one, two, three, four, five. I just go, go like, I can see four. My eyes can register four really easy. So I just grab it and I go like this, say there's four, how many is left? Three. So I'm just gonna go into do another one, pull through, and now I have eight on my hook. So now we're gonna form the circle. In order to do that, we grab the material again, pulling it through all eight at the same time, so now it's all, in your, all on that line. We're going to secure it, so we're going to grab it, pull it through so it's secure. And just like I want to go to the very next on the line, but it's so far away, isn't it? So we have to chain three again. So one, two, and three. Okay, and now let's single crochet again on the line, uh, on the line over, over the top. So every stitch is being used on this particular project. Even though we are jumping around, we are using every stitch. So think about it. We got three, we secured it, we got three. Okay, so let's keep on going. So we want to get to the next center point, so we're going to chain three. So one, two, and three. And now we're going to wrap it material for a double crochet into the very first one on the chain again. Pulling it through, pull through two, and hold. And so now we just keep on doing that pull through two and hold. Going through, pull through, pull through two and hold. Just like you're double crocheting, but you're stopping at that point. Because normally we would we pull through again in order to finish a double crochet. Pull through two and hold. Go into the next one. Now, do I have eight on here? I'm grabbing four. I can see four easily. Oh, well, there's only seven. So let's go in. Pulling through two and hold. So now we have eight pulling material, grab the material, pull through all eight. So turn your hook upside down, facing down so it just slides through like butter. And now let's secure it, grabbing the material, secure, and now chain three. One, two, and three. So now we're back on the top of the white again, so we're just going to put three single crochets again in a row. So you're going to keep doing your line until you get to the very last one here. And you you got to remember, we finished off with two double or single crochets at the bottom here. This is what, what's so important. because you So you have two there. You should end up with two here only. Say you ended up with five, I would fake it. Okay, That's just what I would do But if you've lost count somewhere along the line. But um, I try not to. But if it happens, you can kind of fake it. But you have to maintain that four. So let's work our way to the center point like we always do. So one, two, and three. There's your center point. And wrapping the material, going into the very next stitch, pulling it through two and hold. And so we'll want at least five loops on your, on your chain. Four of them are in part of this, and the fifth one is from this chain that we chained over. So we want to make sure that happens every time we're doing the blue if you were to do this particular line. Pulling it through. So now you have five on your hook. Let's secure it. So grabbing the material, pulling it through, pull through, and then just secure it by just looping it through one more time. And now that is the center point of your blue. So this will be the ed edge piece. And now what we want to do, and in this case it's actually the white over there. So what we want to do now is just turn your material. Okay. Now, think about this. So we're now at the edge and now you got four coming down here and then we jump over. So what we need to do is we have to make sure we get four on the upside coming down over. So just like here, for example, you got four coming down into the center point again. So what we need to do to do that is that we chain up three. We always chain up three when we're double crocheting. So one, two, and three. So now that counts as one of the rotations. Okay, so that counts as one of the four that are going to be going over. So let's grab your material and double crocheting into the very loop piece, okay, where everything got attached. 
and we're going to double crochet like normal into that same hole. So if anything on this particular thing, we're going to do this four times by the way, but if there's anything that's really easy on this project is that the top, doing the top section like this is a, is a little bit quicker than doing all the bottom uh, sections uh, coming up underside. So we've chained one, so there's one. We've got three double crochets, which equals to four, and that equals to four underneath. So what we're just going to do now is just reach over to the where it's first, or to the first single crochet, sticking your needle in, pulling it through, and pull it through. So what we're, what we're just going to do is we're just going to match exactly what was already there. So there's single crochet, so we're going to put another single crochet. So, so we got three in a row, and now what we want to do is we want to get over to and start the center point. Now because we're doing the upside, like the, the horizon kind of idea, we don't need to chain. We can just reach over and double crochet right into that spot. And we want to do seven of those, just like we did on the very first chain of seven. We want to maintain that. So let's continue. So that was three four, five, six, and seven. So we got seven in there. So now all we need to do is just reach over to where it's single crocheted in the next part of the section and just stick your needle in and just single crochet. That's how simple this particular. So the upside like we're doing right now is the easiest uh, line of all of it. So every time you go this direction you'll be happy. So let's uh, wrap in your material around. We're going to go again for the next circle. So just double crochet right into the center piece of the circle. And we're going to do seven like we did before. So this is number three. And this is four. This is five. This is six. Whoops. Six and seven. So I'm kind of not looking at the center point. I have done this pattern for uh, since I was a teenager so I my fingers know exactly where I'm sticking my needles so if you think that I am like gifted or anything it's just practice. So let's uh, reach over now and go to the single crochet in the next part of this, that line. So we're just going to match it and this is what's so important for you right now. Okay so we're on the edge. These four equal the edge. So what we need to do is just find the center point, okay, and you can see it right there. That's where all of the four were joined, just going right into that spot. And what we want to do is we want to put four in a row, so four. But on the final of the fourth, we want to change our color back to white or to whatever color that you want to go. And... Um, so don't confuse yourself, like because this looks like it's part of it, but it's not. That's actually remember that's part of the center point line of this, uh, the one underneath. So going in for the final four, so we're just going to pull through two and hold. And what we're going to do now is grab the white. Okay, so this is where you change the color. Just loop your white on and pull it through the final two. So now what we're just going to do is just trim the balloon really nicely at this point, so you don't see any knots because there is no knots. And so now the white is all ready to go, and I'm going to grab a hold of the stragglers and turn my material and get it ready again. And now the white is ready to go on this particular pattern. So getting your hands all ready, I'm just making sure I'm grabbing my stragglers. Now, because of where we changed the color, the, the piece of where the blue is coming out is actually a little bit further down. So what we need to make sure is that when we are going to secure this in a position, that we slip our needle around that blue section that is down there and the white. Okay, And so if you remember, when we did the white before, we ended up with two single crochets down here. So we have to maintain that up here as well. So what we need to do, the first thing we need to do is we need to chain one. So just chain one up and now sticking your needle underneath or sticking those uh, stragglers on top of your needle what we're just going to do is just do two single crochets in a row and the single crochet is into the very first stitch okay where it's originating out of 
and I know it's kind of hard to see because I'm working with the stragglers, but we're going to do two single crochets right in a row, and we're going to continue to lay those stragglers on top of that line in order to maintain it. So now you had two single crochets down here, you got two up here, you're exactly matching what you have. So let's get to the center point of the white, and to get there, you remember, it's chaining three. So one, uh, two, and three. So we, we're to the center point, as you can see, going over, so just wrapping around the material, going into the very first stitch available, and putting down your stragglers on top of the line, pulling it through two, and hold. Okay, next one, going, putting the stragglers in, pulling through two, and hold. Next one, pulling it through, two, and hold. Okay, and we're running out of stragglers, which is a good thing because it just makes it more simple. And if you think you've gone far enough and you can trim, because you can trim these then later and uh, you won't be able to see where you've uh, cast it on and cast it off. So let's continue to go. So just going around, uh, going along that line to create the semicircle that's upside down. So this is uh, seven. So this is eight. Okay. So in order to finish off the eight, we just grab the material, pulling it through, turn your needle upside down, pulling it through all eight, grabbing the material to secure it. Okay, so it's secure. And on, just like before, we want to chain three. So one, two, and three. So reaching over then to the top of the blue, to the very next stitch available. So we're just gonna single crochet three in a row. So now we're going to start the upside down semicircle again. So we want to chain three to work our way toward the center. So one, two, and three. Oops, and three. And now we want to start securing the upside down circle. So wrapping your material, going into the next stitch available, pulling it through two, pulling it through, and then pull through two and hold. Are you starting to see the pattern here? Once you understand this pattern, this pattern flies. Um, it is a bit of a yarn pig, as I explained in the very uh, start of this tutorial, and that's because all the yarn is concentrating at center points. Um, it doesn't uh, stretch out like normal uh, stuff, but the look of this kind of thing is so amazing. Friends and family and maybe even your spouse will get all excited when you're uh, working on this pattern. It is really quite something. So I'm checking. I just grabbed my four like I showed you before. There's four there, so let's pull it through all eight secure it, and chain three. One, two, and three. See, so now we're going to the top of the blue again for three in a row. So single crochet, top of the blue. Okay, and let's go again. So let's make our way to the center point. So chain three. One, two, and three. Wrapping your material, going into the next one available. Pulling it through two and hold it through two and hold. So, okay, so you're understanding that. So if we've done it right, we should end up with uh, eight on our hook with two available stitches left on the blue. So I haven't even counted yet, but I, I've just got two left I can see. So I'm looking at it. Yeah, there's eight there. And if you didn't get eight, I suggest you fake it um, so that you end up with your two uh, on the sides because it, it's so important that you maintain that. So we secured it and then one, two, and three. And this is your single crochet then. So this is your first one. And remember that's not the, the last stitch is right here. Okay, it's the last post and going in. Now don't go in between the post right there because you'll totally regret that. You've got to make sure you try to maintain that stitch just like you have one underneath and See, there's one underneath there, just like there, and two on top. You need to do that. It's so important. So we only ever change colors on one side of our project uh, to form these circles. So we're always changing our colors on the opposite side. So now we're just going to turn the material, and so we just need to work our way back. So chain one, okay, and now we want to do two single crochets in a row because that's what we had. So going into the very first one, pulling it through and pull it through two. Okay, going into the very next one. 
And just like I showed you before, this is always the easiest side of the of line of the two of them. So there's only really two lines here. So going in, okay, to the center point, we want to do seven right in a row. Oh Lord. I if anybody's watching, I've uh I grabbed the the yarn ball and the bar and the yarn ball I grabbed it by the wrong end. So instead of pulling through the center of the yarn ball, it's pulling through the outside and of course it's the really big one. So it's like driving me nuts. So here's another another edit I gotta do. Okay, so we got two on there, so let's go for the third third. Off camera, I'm making a total fool of myself. I have used a yarn ball and I've grabbed the wrong. I thought it was the empty side, but it turns out I grabbed the wrong end of the yarn ball. So instead of coming smoothly out the center, it's coming out of the. I have to wrap it, and it's a jumbo monster ball of a thousand uh, grams, or uh, two point four pounds. It's like massive. So we want our seven on there. And now we just want to get the seven. We want to fix it into the, the first single crochet. So just single crochet to where you already had done it before. And we want to do that just matching it. So there you would have done three because you did three underneath. So that's reaching over now. We're going to go to the next center. And we're going to do our seven into that center point to cause the circle. So as you can see when you break down this pattern it doesn't take very much time. It's actually kind of a fun pattern and I like changing colors. I get really bored when the colors too too much of the same thing. Um, I really have a hard time with children's sweaters because I really get bored when I'm going down the back of the sweater. Um, I like changing colors as much as possible. That's why I like doing rainbow colors the most. Um, because I really do get sick and tired of the same, looking at the same color for too long. And maybe it's ADD or whatever it is, but I just, it's my preference. So let's jump over to the next center point. And, um, and anyway, so we're just going to do our seven. I see a question online. I have my live broadcast going at, while we're doing this as well. And somebody's asking about a, an ad that appears to be in the way. And unfortunately, it's a free uh, website, so I don't control any of the ads. So hopefully, if they are listening to that, um, I can't get rid of that unless I pay a subscription of like $350 a month. And I only make $12 a day uh, from Google, so I'm not going to invest in a $350 uh, charge like that. So. so we have our seven. And so basically, at the end, just like we had two single crochets down here, we only should be having two up here. So we're going to finish that line with two single crochets. And again, if you were to change color, this is where you're going to do it. So sticking your needle in, pulling it through. And now what we're just going to do is grab your, your next color. In, in this case, I'm going to use blue again. Just slip it onto your needle so there's no knots. Just pulling it through there. And now let's trim off the white. And so there you go. So we just have to turn the material again. Turn the material again. And now we are at the bottom of the actual project again. So in order to get back up, we have to chain three. We're always chaining three when we do a double crochet, if you remember. So one, two, and three. And now just like we did before here, in the, in the one below, we had four. One, two, three, and four. We have to maintain that again. So let's grab your material, and what we want to do is now the white is down further than you want it. So just slipping your stragglers over top of the line before you put it into the next stitch. Okay, so want because you want to secure those in a position so you don't see it. Because afterwards we can trim it. So pull through two and hold, going into the next stitch, pulling it through, pull through two and hold, and the next stitch pull through two and hold. So actually I kind of screwed up there um, just in my description. So we got everything through so you should have four on your on your on your hook. So we're just going to grab the material 
and we're going to secure it and then chain three is like we normally did so one two and three and then going over to the top of the the white circle again and putting your stragglers on top to secure them from falling out we're going to chain our three double our single crochets in a row and there we go so let's uh, do another upside down uh, thing so this is going to fill in um, you can actually really start to see it so we want to get to the center point so as always let's chain three so one two and three and you got your center point and wrapping going into the very first stitch again pulling it through pull through two and hold in pull through two and hold so grabbing it putting it in pull through pull through two and hold grabbing it pull through pull through two and hold so you want to do that again eight times so you can pretty well you know I just go crazy like this and then I and then I decide well maybe it looks like eight so I just grab the first four yeah there's eight right there and pulling it through all eight at the same time let's secure it so grabbing the material and pulling it through and chain three so one two and three and then finally let's go into the next one so we're just going to reach over to the top of the white circle again pulling it through putting it through for a single crochet again three in a row and let's keep on going so let's get to the next center point because it's in between so one two and three wrapping the material going in pulling it through two and hold next pull through two and hold next pull through two and hold so are you starting to see the pattern this is going to be the very last line that I'm going to show you today um, you can really you, you should be under understanding the pattern by now and uh, I really love this pattern it's one of my actually most favorite of all of the crochet uh, stitches I just think the, the circles are just brilliant so we got our four on there pulling it through pull it through okay and th that was securing it so one two and three reaching to the top of the white circle pull through two we're just going to single crochet on the top of the circle of course top of the circle so it's three and so now you're ending up on the edge again so we have to make sure just like we did here we had our four coming one two and three and four we have to make sure we get that so let's get our center point so one two and three wrapping the material going into the very next stitch available pulling it through two and hold and you should only ever have five left on your hook okay so you should have four that's directly making the circle the fifth is from the chain of the of the center point right so you got five now on your hook grabbing the material pull it through and secure and that is the end of that line so this is what it looks like so far Okay, we're just going to chain and this will be the final line of all of this uh, particular tutorial and uh, this is just more of a complementary line just to make sure you do understand what you're doing so we're now just having to complete the top side of the blue in order to do that we have to chain three so this double crocheting so we always chain three so one two and three and now that counts as one of the four that we need okay so just look at it it counts as one of the four grabbing your material going into the center spot that you use to create that semicircle when you did the bottom piece so we're just going to double crochet only three times okay because that that chaining counted as one of them so now when you look at it you got one two three and four so now we just reach over and where we've single crocheted we're going to single crochet again you see how fabulous this is I just love this pattern Okay, so we're going to go to the next center point, so reaching, so just double crochet, pulling it through two and two, and just double crochet seven times. Okay, that was four. This is five. Six. And seven. And sometimes you might need to count if you think you lost count at any point. It does matter. So now we just reach over to where we've already single crocheted and finish it off with three single crochets in a row, just like where you've already done it. So those are the skinny sections in between, right? So let's reach over again, 
and we're just going to do 7 again right into the center point. So this side of our pattern goes really fast. This line, it's the one that underside takes a little bit more time, and it's more primarily because you got to count those 8 out. But once you get into a rhythm, you're going to be able to fly on this pattern really easily. And uh, again, it's a fabulous pattern. So, so there's your 7. Okay, reaching over to the top of there. So you can see that where the other stragglers are kind of like popping out. We're going to fix those at, when you come to, if you get bored at any point, you can just start trimming. But I would probably trim at the very end of your, your project. So now you have four coming down here. Okay, so now we need to have the four matching. So just uh, putting your needle into where you've secured all four together. Okay, and now we're just going to maintain the four. And so at the very final one of the of the four going up, um, you're going to want to change your colors back to whatever you want or to a brand new color. And uh, I've only ever seen one viewer ever do this whole thing in one color. It looked actually pretty sharp, but I really think changing the colors is actually pretty brilliant. So there you go. Enjoy. This is the single. Or this is the Catherine wheel stitch. Oh my god.